is Megan, and today is going to be kind of more of a serious um, video. This is another mommy talk video. So these, this is my third video of this um, little thing. Uh, but this is a requested video. Um, this is actually requested by somebody who is currently pregnant. Um, she wants to know how much a baby, how much time a baby takes, and also how much money they take. So first off, I'm just going to get it, lay all of it out. Like a baby is extremely expensive and takes up all of your time. But totally worth it. Um, that is not me encouraging anybody to, at a young age, to have a baby. I'm not doing that. Um, because it is extremely hard and it's stressful. And you just want to go out and have fun with your friends. But you can't. Um, and that's part of being a mom. I mean, um, there's just some like pros and cons about being a young mom and stuff like that. So... Let's just go ahead and get started. I wrote down my pros and cons, so I'm just going to go ahead and go through them. And so my first pro is you get to love your child so much longer than a person that has their baby at like 25 or even 30. Um, like I had my son at 16, that means when my son is 18, I'll be 34. See how this works? <laughs> Like, it just kind of works itself out. I still have my whole entire life ahead of me. If I don't have more children, and I'm pretty sure I'll probably have more children. But, um, like, my mom, she had me at 20, and I'm going to be 18 next year. And I'm not saying her age, but she's not 40. So, there is nothing wrong with being a young parent. Because when your child is finally having their life, you still have your life. And you still get to do all of these amazing, amazing things. And um, I see that there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so, yeah. Another thing is, is when, like I just said, when you're 18, when your child is 18, you'll have your life ahead of, like, you'll still have your life. Like, that is just so awesome. I love it. <laughs> I love that. I'm only going to be 34 when my son is born. Not born, when my son is 18. Um, you have more energy to play with them when they get older. And um, you just want to do more things with them because you have the energy to do that with them. Um, and, like, let's say, like, they're 18 or they're, like, 16 or even, like, 13. Um, you can kind of relate with them a little bit more because you didn't go through it much long ago. Um, so when my son comes up to me, he's just like, I went through this, and let's say he's like 14, and he went through like bullying or something because I was bullied a lot in school. And he's just like, oh, but you don't know what it is because you never went through it. And he's just like, <laughs> Back that truck up, dude. I was too, and it wasn't that long ago. Like, not at all. So, yeah, I think that's like a big plus that, like, you can relate with your kids a lot more than what, and um, other parents can when they have like a, a 25 year dis uh, year difference. Um. Okay, so. I'm not going to put out too many pros because I don't want people to, like, think that I'm trying to glorify it or anything because it's not glorious. <laughs> um, so I am going to list off all of my cons. So uh, the cons of being a young parent is it's extremely hard to finish school. Um, when you are in school, people are constantly bullying you because you're young and you're about to have a baby. And that really, it's really hard to go through that because you kind of lose everybody. Um, I only had two friends that stayed with me. Mine is the person that I actually found out I was pregnant at her house. And then the other one, um kind of knew the same day. Um, and then a 
another con is it's really hard to get a job because you have nowhere to um, have anybody babysit your baby unless you can somehow, oh I got an itch, somehow afford daycare and that is actually quite a lot of money to afford daycare. Um, and um, some other cons are that you are so young and your whole entire child, like your teenagehood, I guess you could say, <laughs> um, is kind of taken away from you. You have to grow up really, really fast. Bless you, baby. Um, you have to grow up really, really fast, and you pretty much have, like, no more being a teenager. You can't go out and hang out with friends, and you just can't do that anymore. You have to be at home with your kid. Um, so, there's that. Now, enough about that. I am going to go ahead and talk about how much a baby costs and how much time they take up. Um... First off, a baby, when you're first getting ready for your child, of course you have the baby, um, the baby shower, which makes things so much easier. Hold on, wait up, so, yeah. Um, the baby shower makes things a lot easier. Um, you kind of have everything given to you. But if you don't have a baby shower, like I didn't, because my son was actually born the day of my baby shower. But, um, then... But they do take a lot of money, um, like, the, buying the clothes, buying clothes is ridiculous, because you don't know if they're going to be in newborn clothes, or newborn, or zero to three month clothing, so that right there is, um, probably around 200 to 300, possibly even more, I'm just gonna put, like, $400 as we're going. I'm going to add everything up so we have, like, a good idea on the amount of money when you're getting ready for your baby. So, let's just go through that. Um, so, that's just clothing. It's $400 right there. Um, now, if you're going to be carrying a diaper bag, a diaper bag usually can go from anywhere from $10 to $50. But if you're a cheapstick like me, I actually have a $20 diaper bag, and it's amazing. I'll show you guys. Y'all want to watch that video? It's actually the last video I just posted, so just go watch that. Um, so yeah, diapers. You're going to want to buy a pack of newborn diapers, which is like about two packs of newborn diapers, and that's about... $70 right there because one pack is about $30 but depending on what kind you use it could be more so I'm going with $70 and then you have to buy wipes and a pack of like three wipes is like $5 and you want like a bunch of them or if you go the cheaper way and get like 10 for 10 then um Let's just say $10 because they're not all that expensive. Um, your crib. That is about $1,000 right there. Possibly more, but I'm going with 1000 Um, stroller. That's like $500 right there. <laughs> the car seat is about 200 um, let's see, the dresser, that's about, let's go with like 250 um, changing table, that's about 100 and the changing mat, that's about uh, $10, that's, that's about $20, actually. Um, the, I know, like, the change in cloth is 25 and let's see, then you have the bottles, um, you want about five bottles or so, so that's about, mm, $40, it's about $40, and if you're going to be doing formula, 
then you want to start stacking up on your formula, but I would ask your pediatrician before you buy formula, just saying, um, but I would breastfeed for about two weeks if you depend, if you want to do um, formula, but anyway, we're going to go with like the breastfeeding route, so a breast pump is about anywhere from like 100 to like 500 so I'm just gonna go with like 350 because they're expensive um, and then you have to buy like the little things for your th for the milk to go in and that's about $15 that's <sighs> so a lot of money you guys um, so that's about getting ready for your baby. So I'm going to add all of this up and then I'll tell you. $3,000 just getting ready for your baby if you go extremely cheap. Like all resale shop cheap. Um, uh, getting ready for my son actually didn't even take that much because I did all hand-me-downs. My crib I didn't pay for. Um, it, the sh like it, the crib was given to me. My dressers were given to me. Um, clothes were given to me. Changing table isn't even a real changing table. Um, stroller was given to me. Car seat was given to me. Diaper bag was given to me. Everything was given to me. So, I mean, if you just kind of ask around, you can always, always, always just, um, save a lot of money. Now, diapers... If you want to do cloth diapering, that's about $400 just getting a few cloth diapers plus the cloths that go inside of them, the liners. Um, I was going to do cloth diapering and then my son was born early so I couldn't really do cloth diapering. But um, that's a very cheap way to go when you have your baby. And another really cheap way to go is also if you decide that you want to breastfeed for the first two years, which is perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong with breastfeeding. Um, like, if you want to breastfeed your kid until they're like fucking five, go for it. Excuse my language, but go for it. I don't see anything wrong with that. It's really healthy for your child, and it's actually really healthy for your body as well. Um, so do that. So a baby a year, um, if you're doing formula and, um, uh, formula feeding plus, uh, disposable diapering, it's, disposable diapering by itself is about two to three thousand dollars a year just in diapers. <laughs> um, formula is about... Um, a thousand, like fifteen hundred, uh, because formula, like the little cans of formula, go by fast. They go by really, really fast, and they're about fifteen dollars. So, um, and then you also have to worry about the clothes as your child gets older. You want to make sure that your kid has clothes. Um, like the other day, my mom actually spent sixty dollars on five or six outfits. Um, that's a lot of money for that amount of, um, clothing. So there's that. And then you also have to worry about getting your baby into a new car seat. Um, and those new car seats are about $200. So there's that. So babies are extremely expensive. Really, really expensive. So now how much time they take, honestly, there is not much to say about this. They take all of your time. You barely have any time to do anything. When your baby is a newborn, seriously, you're feeding your baby every four hours, so you're pretty much wanting to sleep when your baby sleeps, so you're going to get no sleep at all. Like, I'm not even kidding when they say sleep when your, when they say sleep when your baby sleeps, sleep when your baby sleeps. Oh my gosh, I can't express that enough. I didn't do that when my son first came home, and I wish I did because now I am always exhausted and I, I feel like it's because I, did, I don't get enough sleep at night. Like right now I think it's like 12 o'clock at night and he's asleep and 
I'm awake because I can't sleep. Then again, I have a sleeping disorder. So, anyway. Um, but your baby takes up all of your time. I don't even have time to go to school. I'm currently looking for a job, and I don't even know if I'm going to have time for that. I have to do part-time, so my mom can watch him while I'm, at school, while I'm at work. And then in school, I have to go to school for my GED, doing night classes, because I can't go to high school and get my diploma, because I don't trust daycare. It's just how I am. Um, so, yeah. When I don't have time to pee sometimes, <laughs> um, I barely have time to shower. Like seriously, you know you're a mom when you don't shower every day. Not even kidding. So, there's that. And then, um, yeah, pretty much all of your time and all of your attention is toward your child. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. I don't see anything wrong with that. So, yeah. I guess that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I know this was a very long video, and I'm actually really sorry about that, but it's something that I really wanted to get out and really talk about in detail, kind of, if y'all want a video like this a little bit more into detail about what it's like being a young mom, then I will definitely do that for y'all. Hopefully it'll be a little bit um, shorter because I do have most of it out. So, um, yeah, there's that. And... I love every single one of you guys, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I actually hope this video was extremely helpful. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It always makes me really, really happy when I get new subscribers, and I'm actually at 121 right now, and that makes me so happy. I was freaked out when I got one subscriber, <laughs> so um, 121 is a really big deal to me. So, yeah, I love every single one of you guys, and if you want to have, if y'all want to see any other videos, then please leave a comment below, um, and I usually don't get a lot of comments on my videos, which is perfectly fine, it kind of makes life easier for me, but, um, then I will reply back to you, and I will get that video up for you guys as soon as I possibly can. Like, this video was, like, requested about two weeks, two or three weeks ago. I'm just now doing it. So, yeah, I love every single one of you guys, and I hope y'all have an amazing week. Bye!